Hello and welcome to WP Forms. Today I'm going to show you how to allow users to select recipients in a WordPress form. If you'd like to let users make sure that their messages get to the right person or department, adding a drop down selection option on your contact form can help you do just that. You can do this in three different ways. Add multiple form notifications so that multiple people get an email. Add email addresses to the CC field in the Notification Settings page. Or add a field that lets visitors pick which department or person receives the message. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on option 3, which is the best solution if you want to have one form for all of your messages. With that said, let's get started. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the Plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account yet, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site, and on the Plugins page, we'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner, and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file, select WP Forms, and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the settings page. You can find the key on the downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we can head into the form builder by clicking on the Add New tab on the left hand side. WP Forms comes with lots of different form templates to get you started as quickly as possible, so you can select any of the available options you see here and customize them as you see fit. But if you want to create a form entirely from scratch, you can do that too. For this tutorial, let's go ahead and use the simple contact form template as a base. You can customize the form template in a few different ways. You can add new fields by clicking and dragging them from the left panel over to the right, arranging the existing order of the fields by clicking and dragging them around, or deleting them entirely by hovering over one and clicking on the red trash can icon when it appears. What we want to do here is add a drop down field into our form so that a visitor can use this field to select the recipient. Click on the drop down field to open up its settings. We're going to change the fields label to something like who would you like to contact? And we'll update the label for each of the choices. For this example, I'm going to change the choices to customer service, billing, and technical support. But you can use whatever options best suit your needs. When you're done, be sure to check the required checkbox so that a user won't be able to submit the form without making a selection. You can click on the Advanced Options tab and scroll down to the Placeholder text field to add a placeholder choice for your field if you'd like. When you're done customizing the fields, click on the Save button on the top right corner, and we're ready to set up our conditional form notifications. Click on the Settings tab on the left, and we'll first click on Notifications. Here, we're going to create conditional logic for the drop down field so that each option in the drop down will be paired with the correct email address it needs to go to. This tells WP Forms where to send the notification based on the selection that the user made in the form. So let's start with the first notification. The admin email in the Send to Email Address field refers to the admin email address for your WordPress website, so if you'd like the notification to go to a different email address, you can make that change in this field here. You can add as many email addresses in this field as you'd like. Just be sure to separate each smart tag or manually entered email address with a comma. In this case, we're going to remove the admin email smart tag and we're going to add the email address of our customer service department since we only want the customer service department to receive this particular notification because that was the choice the user made. Then, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the Enable Conditional Logic checkbox. A few additional fields will appear, which is what we're going to use to create the rule. This is how WP Forms will know to send this specific notification to which email address based on what the user chose. So we want this to state the following. Send this notification if who would you like to contact is customer service. This first notification is done, so we're going to want to repeat this process for the remaining two choices. The easiest way to do this is to scroll up and click on the Clone button at the top of the notification. 
This will create a copy of the notification and will repeat the process. First, we'll change the email to the second option in our dropdown, which is our billing department, and then we'll scroll down to the bottom of the notification and enable conditional logic. The rule for this notification will be, send this notification if who would you like to contact is billing. You'll repeat this process as necessary depending on how many options you created in the drop-down menu. When you're done, save your changes and we're ready to set up our confirmation settings. You can choose between three different options that the user will see after they've submitted the form. Message, Show Page, or Go to URL. The Message option will display any message that you write in this available text field. The Show Page option allows you to select an existing page on your site like a thank you page or something similar that will be displayed after the user clicks on the submit button, and the go to URL setting will redirect a user to a different website entirely. Once we're done, we're going to save our changes and we're ready to add our contact form to our site. Go to your dashboard and click on Pages, Add New, and let's add a title. From there, we'll click on the plus icon below the title and either click on the Browse All option to find WP Forms, or you can type WP Forms in the available search bar. We'll then click on our contact form, hit Publish, and we're all set. You now know how to allow users to select recipients in your WordPress forms. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step by step written instructions for all of our features and add ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.